Previously, we learned that being overweight, diabetic or having heart disease makes you significantly more prone to COVID-19 and its complications. This presentation is an overview of the changes you can make to help reduce your chance of having these conditions in the future. The three most important factors for good health are nutrition, exercise and mental well-being. We will look at these briefly. We should exercise every day. For adults, every week, this should be at least 150 minutes of activity, such as brisk walking or riding a bike, or 75 minutes of more intense activity, such as walking upstairs or jogging. We should also exercise our major muscle groups at least twice a week. This could be a gym workout, carrying shopping bags, or doing an activity, such as Tai Chi. Lastly, we should minimise time sitting or lying down. Aim to move more and regularly be more active. There is no limit on how much you can do and the more you do, the better. A video demonstrating various exercises you can do at home is on the BAPS Charities YouTube channel to help you make exercise a part of your daily routine. Healthy eating is the most important change you can make. We need to understand what we are eating and what a Gujarati diet lacks and needs. Rather than dieting, we want to focus on sustainable, long-term eating habits. For example, eating more fruits and vegetables, eating more foods high in fibre, drinking plenty of water, limiting processed foods and those high in fat, salt and sugar. We should also be mindful about how much and when we eat. We know there is a link between stress and heart disease. Try to spot the early signs which include unhealthy habits, irritability and worrying more than normal. While there is little you can do to prevent stress, there are many things you can do to manage it, like meditation, connecting with others and pursuing hobbies. Stopping smoking, if relevant to you, is the biggest change you can make to prevent having heart disease and strokes, and there are plenty of online resources to help, and your GP can also guide you. Lastly, if you are prescribed medication by a doctor, for example tablets for high blood pressure or cholesterol, it is vital you take these, even if you do not have any symptoms or feel that they are not making any difference. Many of us believe that losing weight or making these changes is far too difficult. However, we don't believe so. There are many people who have made long-lasting changes and the impact on their health has been incredible. One such example is Geshe. Over 20 years ago, I was informed that I was diabetic. However, six years ago, the doctors called me and said that they need to increase my medication and prepare me for taking insulin injections. This came as a shock and, and a bit of a surprise. Uh, I was exercising, I was avoiding uh, sugar, sugary foods, uh, no fizzy drinks, and my weight was in control. So obviously something wasn't working. The first thing I did was that I got myself a smart watch which um, monitored my exercising and measured um, and, and told me how much calories I was burning a day. And I thought that based on that I would eat uh, only as much calories as I would burn. Uh, the second thing I did was that I realized that my nature is stressful, hence I increased my meditation and spiritual reading. The third thing I did was that I, I stopped eating out only because I had no control over the ingredients what goes in the food outside. A year later into this, the doctors called me back and informed me that actually now I'm officially non-diabetic and get rid of the extra med medication that they prescribed me. Uh, I feel far more energetic and fitter now than I ever was before. So why am I sharing this with you? Not because I would like you to do what I'm doing. In fact, I recommend you to keep listening to your doctors and nurses, but also to introspect and understand your own self, uh, your own body, your own nature, and come up with a regime that suits you. In fact, less is definitely more, much more. Diabetes doesn't have to be the end of the world. We hope you have been inspired and are now willing to take the first steps. In the coming weeks, we will look at exercise, diabetes, as well as learning about carbohydrates, fats and protein.